Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of May. Uh, this month I've decided to use the Mystic Dreamers Tarot deck and I will be letting one card fall out of Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. Okay, so the way I typically do a reading is I shuffle till only one card falls out. Those are the clarity cards and jumpers. I don't read any other cards. I feel that those are the messages that are most important in a reading. Okay, all right. So I'm going to give it a couple of good shuffles like this and then I will shuffle the other way. I would like to thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. Even if there was just one subscriber, I would be thankful. And I would keep going. I would keep doing these readings just for the one person watching. All right. It makes me happy to have this channel and to help people and give these, these free readings out, these monthlies, these journal readings. A little bit about myself, if I, you are new to the channel, I am what's called a clairsentient and that means clear feeling. So I do my readings based on feelings and what that means is I read people and I read emotions. I read um, uh, where they are at. So what that means is if, if somebody wants to get a reading done and they are inquiring about their significant other and they don't know if this other person is in love, I would feel what that other person feels. It's called reading people. So I would, so if I feel love, then I, then I feel like they're in love. If I want to know, if somebody wants to know if they're being played, then I would feel like this person is playing them because I pick up their emotion. So there's times where I think, no, this person isn't feeling them. Like I feel what that person feels. So if that person feels like they're committed and they're in it, then that's what I feel. I get that emotion of being committed and in a relationship. And that's where I shine. That's where my, I do my best work is by reading people. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of May? Scorpio for the month of May. And um, if you want to purchase a reading, my email will be at the bottom of the link of the video. And um, what I, I will email you back within 24 hours and readings take no longer than 48 hours when people want a reading they want it now most people have just had a crisis they're lost they're confused they don't know what to think their heart's been broken and they want a reading right away they don't want to wait months and months and months for a reading I remember there's an there's another YouTube channel and the woman is very very popular she's got like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and a co-worker of mine had emailed her because her boyfriend just broke up with her. She didn't know what to think her, about her boyfriend. And uh, um, she emailed this lady. And it was something like October. And she was booking into August. And I just thought, like, how can, you know, I think that's great that she's that busy. But how can you help somebody? And so anyway, May came along. And she got an email from this woman saying, we have a spot open. Um, you know, sometime in May for you to get your reading done. She said, uh, you know, she said to me, she said, that relationship was back over in October. I needed her help back in October. So, you know, it's, um, it's hard. People, people really need help now, you know? All right, there we go. Okay, now. Hopefully you can see all these cards here. The very first card here we have is the card that represents the relationship. It indicates that this actually just came up for Virgo maybe. And it's the Temperance card. And the Temperance card represents balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. Where is this relationship going to be for the month of May? Pretty much just moderation. No big changes. No sudden changes. Um, everything will be the same. It'll be in balance. It'll be in harmony. Um, but there's not going to be many changes, much changes for the month of May. Okay. That's what this card is representing. Not forever, just for the month of May. All right. This person is just kind of sitting in the water. The normal temperance card has um, the person kind of dipping their toe in the water. You know, just feeling the waters, seeing where it's at. You know, so that's what this card represents is just kind of like just balance and just moderation. Okay, no big changes. Okay, so what's this person, um, what's going on in this person's mind? And we have the high priestess. And this is about intuition and trusting yourself. This person is going with their intuition. 
that's what this card is saying when it comes to this relationship. Okay, so um, uh, this is where they're at. They're trusting their intuition. Um, it's about secrets and mystery as well. This person really, this person has a lot of knowledge, but keeping it to themselves. As you can see here, the high priestess has a scroll in her hand. I think that's a scroll there. And the information's in there, but she's not sharing. So this person is going with their intuition, but they're not sharing. Okay. All right. Then there's you. There's a two of cups. In your mind, you feel that this is a, um, this is a perfect love partnership and match. This is the two of cups is two people that um, feel connected, mind, body, and soul. It's a romantic love partnership. It's about proposal. It's about marriage. It's about, it's about past life connection. You guys are connected on every level. So in your mind, this is the right person for you. Okay. This person isn't giving up any secrets yet. They're not going to tell you much. All right. Now. This card talks about emotional feelings and emotional concerns. And it's the Ace of Wands. It's their emotions. So the Ace of Wands talks about new romance. It's about inspiration. It's the urge to create. They're inspired. They want to create something with you. Okay. They're still, they're, they're, you know, they're not going to share much with you in their mind, but in their emotions, they want to create. Okay. All right. Now there's you three of wands, um, your emotions and your feelings. This is about teamwork. Okay. So sorry, three of wands. Yes. Three of wands is about teamwork. It's about expansion. You want to expand this. Okay. Um, you want to see where this goes. You want to create, you want to work with this person. All right. Okay. Next card. We have um, how they represent themselves on the outside, the magician. And this is somebody who wants to turn their, their um, thoughts into reality. What's their thought? Okay, up here in their minds, they are um, uh, following their intuition. So this is saying that this person has all the tools because you can see, I don't know if you can see it. This is a very, very like small desk, but normally... The um, magician card has the four tools on the desk, on the table. Um, the coin, the cup, the sword, and the wand. So you have, this person has all the tools to turn their thoughts into reality. Okay. So on the outside, this is how they represent themselves that they want to grow this. All right. And then we have the queen of swords. Okay. Um, how you represent yourself on the outside. Okay. Queen of swords is typically a... Um, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini person. And uh, because it's a queen, and this is a general reading, I'm just going to say just general, this is this is a just a general person, right? But you're representing yourself this month as this person, a powerful, intentional, um, self-sufficient, truth-telling person. Okay, so this is how you are representing yourself on the outside. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I will shuffle and let one card fall out from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What is the message regarding Scorpios? What is the message for all Scorpios? What is the message for? Oh. The message for all Scorpios. What is the message for all Scorpios? Oh, too many cards again. What is the message for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio? What is the message for Scorpio? Oh, there we go. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so during this month, you might have a chance to kind of get away. If not get away, 
just to enjoy kind of like time together, even if it's just to go away somewhere for the day. Um, yes, there's going to be temperance here, but I feel that by the end of the month, there's going to be some connection going on between the two of you. Okay. All right. So that is the reading for all of you Scorpios out there. I hope this reading helped. Um, if you would like a private reading, like I said, email me and I will uh, send you the information. My email will be at the bottom of the box there underneath the video. All right. Okay. I hope all you Scorpios have a wonderful month of May and thank you for watching. All right. Bye-bye for now.